Hello and welcome to this lesson on the tune, the Upton Upon Seven Stick Dance. And as you may surmise by the title, this is a Morris dance uh, from Upton, which is in the west part of England. Um, I went there myself last year for the um, uh, Folk Festival, which was a couple of days of fun, the end of April. And uh, this is a really good tune, not that long. And I'm using this DG Melodian, which is a uh, Hona Erica. Uh, not your standard Hona Erica, I've had it sort of majorly tweaked by Martin White. It's now fourth button start, it's been dedic tuned, and it's really lovely. And um, originally, this box was a GC, and I had the innards of the two boxes swapped over because I preferred the look of this one. I love the red, the other one's black, and I preferred the action of this one. Don't forget with YouTube videos, you can rewind them slightly just by pressing the, the, uh, the back button on my Mac. It's the um, sort of the left arrow and it rewinds uh, a few seconds so you can hear that bit again. You can also change the speed, you can slow it down a half or even uh, to a quarter speed or three quarter speed. So if I'm uh, playing something too fast or you just can't quite make out what I said, you can always go back quite readily. So a few basics before we get going. Like I said, this is a fourth button start instrument. That means that the fourth button down on each row is the root note on the push. So if I play this fourth button down on the G row and push in, that's G and on the D row, that's D. We're in the key of G major, all the Fs are sharpened. And because of that, most of the notes are on the G row. They have the normal heads in my music. Any notes on the D row will have diamond heads. We start off in position minus one uh, which for me is the second finger on the root note, first finger on the button above, and the third and fourth finger uh, on the two buttons below the root note. So for me it's buttons three, four, five, six. If you've got a third button start instrument, that'll be buttons two, three, four, five. That's your first position, okay? Um, so I start off with this uh, pair of quavers in that first bar, which is a pickup bar. It's called bar naught. It's not a complete bar. And notice the time signature, which is 6-8. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So on beats 5 and 6, you play those two notes. They're on the same button, push-pull. The way I play those notes is one press of the button. You can press the button twice if you like. But as it's on the same button that you get those two notes, I prefer to do it like that. Third finger, the notes are B and C. You'll see a dagger underneath the second note and that is just reminding you that you can play that note just by reversing the bellows. Third finger. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, bar number one, which is on the next stave underneath the letter A, that means the A section. There's an A section and a B section to this tune, as there often are with Morris tunes. Sometimes we have a C section as well, but more often than not, it's an A and a B. So we played a little pickup bar and we're into our first bar and we're going to put a little finger down in position and push and we get the note D and then we come to the button above and we get the note B which we play twice come to the button above that, pull out to get the A and push that button in uh, to get the G so they're on the same button so yes you can play it just by reversing the bellows let's look at the timing there, crotchet quaver and then three quavers so the crotchet takes up the first two beats of the bar. Remember there are six beats in the bar in two groups of threes, what we call compound duple. So the D takes up the first two beats of the bar and then the B is on beat three, the next B is on beat four, the A is on beat five and the G is on beat six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. The left hand there, pretty straightforward. G bass, G chord, G bass, G chord. The G bass is the capital letter, the G chord is the lowercase little letter. And notice where the umpar comes on this. It's on the first beat and the third beat and the fourth beat and the sixth beat. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So umpar, 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 that's your feel. Now there is one pull note, the A on beat five, at that point make sure the bass is not lingering on, otherwise you'll get an unwanted uh, D. There's your first bar. And from the pickup bar, 